track and field events, basic instructions, and actual presentation. But before doing such activities, be sure to do warm-ups first. Events to be discussed. 100 meter sprints, long jump, triple jump, and javelin. First event we have is sprint. You are instructed to focus on your posture and core. Keep your torso upright, shoulders relaxed and away from your ears, and engage your core. Unleash your superman pose. Second, run with a circular motion. Think like a cyclist and run with a circular motion with your feet, your thighs parallel to the ground, and your knees driving in up and down motion. Land efficiently. Land on your forefoot and focus on pushing off from your toes. Another thing, drive your arms. Hold your arms in a bent position, 90 degrees, and drive the elbows backward to create momentum. Also, shorten your stride. Long strides are energy wasters. Focus on cadence speed rather than distance as you sprint. Kick butt. As you push off from the forefoot and toes, bring your heels up toward your butt. And lastly, breathe. Relax and sink your breathing to the rhythm of your feet. Another event is the long jump. First thing, we have to set up the approach. To do this, stand with your back to the pit with the heel of your long takeoff foot. Second, approach run, drive and transition phases. The drive phase is somewhat like a slower spring start. From a standing start, drive forward, keep your head down with your arms pumping high. Another, approach run. Attack phase and final steps. The attack phase is where all of your efforts go into sprinting at a maximum speed. Take off. Generally, a right handed long jumper takes off with the left foot. New jumper may wish to try both to which style works best. Lastly, flight stride technique. The idea is to maintain forward momentum without letting your upper body rotate forward and throw you off balance. We also have triple jump. First instruction, run up to the board and jump. This will begin the first phase. 